let's uh, today I'm going to share with you again on the book of uh, Revelation. Today we're going to share on. I'll be uh, sharing an application uh, verses here and there, all right? But based on my slide. And today I'm going to talk about uh, Revelation chapter eleven. Okay, the title I'm going to share is The Righteous Will Be Rewarded and the Evil Doers Will Be Judged. Huh? Well, let's look at the uh, first verse. Huh? I was given a reef like a measuring rod right? and was told go and measure the temple of God and the altar and his worshiper. Okay, yeah? uh, what uh, view is uh, is a literal temple. Okay, So it's a very strong view. Huh? A literal temple. Why is a literal temple? Okay, let's look at the verse. Eh? Uh, next verse. He will oppose and exalt himself over everything that is called God or his worship, so that he set himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself as God. Right? This is the Antichrist. Okay, uh, when the Antichrist will come up, who is the Antichrist? What is his name? The Bible says triple six, right? But they don't know exactly who is he. Because, okay, if you believe, eh, although by AG stand, I also might believe that the, the rapture will come before the Antichrist come up. Alright? So you say, when is the rapture? I can tell you, uh, not very far from now. Eh. Okay, but we don't know the exact date. Eh. Somebody predicted today, 5.43, eh, but I don't think so. Eh. Right? 5.43 pm. Eh, because they look at the uh, calendar, the moon, or whatever. Right, and then they calculate the dates. He said it is 20th of June, 5.43 right, p.m. I think maybe it's Israel time or American time. Huh? So, but I don't think so. Huh? I don't think it is today. Right? But we're not very far from now. Okay. <coughs> so, anyway, I let you know that uh, this Antichrist is, is triple six. Okay, some believe that, uh, of course, you know the Bible says very clearly that he comes from the heavy sea. It's a demon, it's a, it's a fallen angel, it's a demonic spirit. Huh? He will uh, incarnate, alright, that Jesus Christ, uh, about well, Christ is just really, uh, it's so called that he go into the body, okay? And then uh, possibly a politician, alright? Possibly a politician, huh? but if we are rapture, we, we, did, we will not see the Antichrist on earth, but I think if you look down from heaven, huh, we can see him. Okay, because I believe God wants us to you know why he was uh, supporting your verses Hebrew 11 uh, uh, Hebrew 12 we're talking about the witnesses right a club of witnesses so I believe we are among the club of witnesses all these people already went to heaven uh, right? they, a lot uh, somehow uh, enable them to see because when in little part we come back uh, and all the, we follow the law and then the, the law will just the nation will defeat the nation right then we usher in the 1000 year so we have to be connected to the whole scenario of the seven years before we know what's going on. So I believe, based on uh, Hebrew chapter 12, the cloud of witnesses, eh? so we are among them, right? Uh, later on when Christ comes back. Okay, and then of course later time we come back. Alright? So, you ask me when? Before I look at the situation, the uh, Israel political situation, eh? the change of the Prime Minister, America change of the President, eh? right? Okay? So, alright, so he will sit in a temple. Okay, what is a significant, this one is a future, the coming of the Antichrist. Alright, where will it be? Not very far from now. Okay, nobody knows exactly, huh? but you just watch. Okay, okay let's uh, move. Okay, move on. Okay, but before I move on, uh, let's tell you that even Jesus Christ come tomorrow, uh, um, uh, 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 one month from now, uh, let's say, uh, can still go and study well, uh, do your job well, go and get married, go and find a boyfriend, girlfriend, it's fine, it's a process of growth. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing beyond your control, uh, okay? There's nothing beyond your control. Uh. Just do whatever you feel your heart needs you. Nothing wrong with that. Go and study excel. Uh. Alright? When time Christ said, Jesus come and said, oh, very good, you've done your best with the gifts that God has given you, right? Okay? So, uh, all right. Uh, those who are interested in when it's going to come back, uh, I can give you a guess. Uh, okay, but not under the video. All right. <laughs> you know why? Okay, uh, uh, I know I'm not telling you the exact time, but tell you how close it are. We're actually quite very close. Huh? Okay, but I don't want to say it here uh, on this video. Uh, all right. 
Okay, now, well, then what is the implications? Uh? Okay, in today's contact, uh, is contact, contact is the second in the church. Okay, uh, in America, they put satanic church. Right, you can Google. Uh, put, if you don't believe, you go to Google satanic church, they come up. Satanic church, churches, uh, not only one, but many satanic churches. Alright, and everywhere have, uh, even Singapore also have. Okay, but we're not convenient to mention the name, right? Some people will sue you. <laughs> Alright, anyhow say. Alright, okay. Uh, so, I, I let you know, of course, uh, the cult is very obvious. Uh, the Dual Witness is a satanic church. Uh, Alright, so you know, Dual Witness is banned in Singapore, right? So, and so there's satanic. Satan in the church, and not only that, uh, they also, uh, okay, let's go to the other verse. Uh, they also materialism in the church, I mean, the world is in the church. The church measures success in terms of numbers, like the world. They measure success in terms of money, alright? They measure success in terms of big building, alright? Some uh, countryside and all that. So, why he says that, uh, you know, he is uh, worthy, okay? okay? Uh, Bigner means greatness means good, eh? uh, not necessary uh, in the Bible context. To those who sold down uh, in, the, in, the, in the Bible, right, this verse, he said, Get out of here, stop turning my father's son to a market. Uh, this is uh, Jesus' time. Eh? And Jesus said, uh, Okay, he did somebody remember his return and zeal for my house will conceive me. Jesus cried, Topper the, uh, the, you know, the, the tables and all that for selling down, right? Because it's commercialism. Now the place are called the Gentile are supposed to reserve for all nations that now to hear to just preach to them. But the place are occupied to do business and the bazaar is there. So it was so noisy that you know they can even the word is preached, you cannot hear. Alright? So this is uh, it's just noises. They call commercialism. Alright? But in uh, today's context, uh, uh, there's a true church that means they will, they will worship God in spirit and in truth. Uh, and, God is seeking this kind of uh, worshippers. Uh, speaking in worship in spirit in one form, it can also mean speaking in tongues. Alright? You know, just now Esther was praying, right? And was uh, speaking in tongues. But then we, it's a very beautiful time, you know? You know, we can go on and go on for hours, alright? And then uh, followed by uh, tongues and uh, manifestation of tongues and manifestations. But we don't have this setting, alright? But of course, we can create one, huh? alright? And uh, we see how it goes up. Uh, because now our focus is. Uh, Ministry of the Word, right? And then the next one is the pray and worship. Okay, let's pray a lot, lah, okay? Let's be manifest in the, you know, but that's like good music. I don't know, music must be soothing, you know, and can bring up, cannot bring down, I bring down that problem. Okay, then you defeat the purpose. Okay, the music must be strong, uh, enhancing, uh, accompanying the spirit, okay? Alright? Uh, let's pray that we are really going to see uh, Okay, the next one is that praying the spirit and praying Like Paul said, right? Uh, when I pray in tongue, my spirit pray Okay, about two church, huh? Okay, I say uh, today I'll interject uh, I will just give you I will talk about implication, okay? Right? Okay, today we'll just focus on uh, 11, huh? Chapter 11 So what I do, I will pray with my spirit But I will also pray with my understanding, right? So speaking in tongue, huh? So we hope to create a platform that you can sing and pray, but you need to have knowledge in this area and you can move very powerfully, right? So, it must take time, this must take time, cannot last, huh? Yeah? Okay. Okay, uh, about this, if you the scripture to support, uh, you can pray in the spirit, like the spirit pray in the seat through you, uh, in Romans and so on, okay? The one you can take down the verses. Okay, let's move on to uh, the measuring of the temple. The three things that uh, angels measure, right? The first one is the temple. Alright, one is the access is quality. You know that uh, all of us will be rewarded if we truly follow the Lord. Eh? But those who okay, yesterday I was talking to the Brother about the different type of churches, eh? now, some church they build they by gold, silver, and precious stone. I mean they sacrifice. Some they wood and hay and stuff, they hardly, you know, hardly uh, do anything impacting. Eh? They just go, you know, just maybe to live with Jesus and sing. And just then they do the bare minimum. Huh? And these are the wood hands that but they still can make it to heaven, huh? but they, they have no hardly any rewards. Huh? Yeah. So it's the gold and silver one who invest. Huh? Now we are looking for this category of believers. Yesterday, yeah, we only have a lot many because yesterday we only had nine of us, alright? Nine of us, but for a wonderful time because we are strong believers. 
we have. Strong believer means what? No, they're regular in church, uh, they're regular in ministry. They don't come only for one service, they can come for two services. Saturday, you can come and help. It's like 2 p.m. or service like at 4, right? You can come and uh, join the group or slowly become a facilitator if you have more students, huh? because it's only the student actually has gone down, right? Okay? That's uh, first thing is uh, is measure the quality. The next thing is the order you measure the sacrifice. Okay, in a sense, uh, and only the priest can offer sacrifice. Okay, and then the next one is the worshippers, rather the true worshippers. Okay, so uh, the other supporting verses, uh, uh, because we are like a slave to Jesus, a slave to righteousness, and then our year be pierced into lifelong service to God, uh, and also uh, present. A body a living sacrifice. I, I tell you, uh, the best thing to do, uh, apart from your work and study, is to give your rest of your time to God. You know why? Because Paul said in Romans chapter, therefore, is it about the living sacrifice? Because before that, he was talking about the third world and destruction. No? He said everything will become zero. No? So, what kind of person need to live? Huh? All right? Be a living sacrifice. I think the life to live for you, this is the best way to live your life for. I'm not asking everybody go to full time, no. But we are all full time in one sense. Uh, I mean, in the workplace, you share the gospel or things. Uh. So you must uh, don't, don't spend so much time on the worldly things. Uh. You know what I mean? Uh? Because, you know, you, you just uh, do well in your job. You know, when you do well in the job, uh, excel, uh, you have really a great testimony. You have a powerful impact. Okay, excel in your job. Be very knowledgeable in your area. For me, uh, as a preacher, I must be good in the Bible. Right? I must be able to be competent, that's the word competent, uh, in ministering the word of God. That means I must have a lot of knowledge, right? But over the years, it, it takes time, I think it'll be a to build the knowledge base. Uh. So you know, three months, okay? You know, three days. <laughs> so whatever you do, be competent, be efficient, uh, okay, and be wise. Okay, let's uh, okay, so I give your time to God and to save souls and help to mature them and build the kingdom. Uh. That's most important. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's go to verse 2. But exclude the outer court. Why the outer court exclude? Okay? And do not measure because it has been given to the Gentile and they will trample on the holy city for 42 months. Three and a half years. Alright, exclude the Gentile. Okay, who are the Gentiles? It's a very interesting thing. Eh? They can make a guess. Eh? Some of these are is a non non-believer. Alright, they are the non-Jew, right? Gentiles, they are non-Jews. They are trading on the Jewish temple. Okay, who is this Gentiles? Huh? It's an interesting subject. Lah. It's a subject of further discussion. Of course, I have my own view. Lah, right? But I'm not saying. Okay? You know, it's quite interesting. Lah. Okay, you look around. Okay, Jews, huh? and are trampled by Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Okay, there are many interpretations about the word Gentiles. But who specifically are the Gentiles? Alright? So anyway, but they are definitely uh, non-Jews. Alright? Okay, and the, uh, <coughs> okay, let's move on. Huh? And the Gentile will desecrate the temple. Okay, <coughs> just now we say that the beast right, will sit inside the temple. He will desecrate the temple. And the moment he sits in the temple, huh? all right, and then there will be the, the seven, uh, the seven bowl, huh? all right, and uh, the bowl, the seven trumpet, and then followed by the bowl judgment. I mean the the. Uh, the divine Jacob trouble. Why is it inside? Uh, Jacob trouble began the last three and a half years. Uh, when a uh, great plague, uh, the one we will talk about in uh, okay, the seventh bowl, right? We will talk about it in uh, chapter 15 onwards, uh, right? Uh, but not now. Uh. So he, he said on it, okay? So the Antichrist uh, inside. And <coughs> there is a temporary triumph of Satan. Okay, God allowed Jesus Christ to be crucified and like seemingly, you know, the devil tried, right? But it is not. Jesus has to die to show his love and then to save the world. Similarly, we have to die for the cause of Jesus to save the world through the power of the Holy Spirit, right? So this one, huh? Jesus Christ allowed, God allowed Satan to triumph, alright? And after that, he feeds Satan to show that he's in charge, okay? So, Sometimes you say, why God allow this? Yeah, it's all in God's blueprint. Huh? You already, before the foundation of God, you already the blueprint. Alright, so Satan will try for uh, now the first three and a half years. After that, there will be a, 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 a Armageddon, the battle. Alright, Armageddon, or the God. 
some say it's not as bad as okay? And uh, okay, let's uh, move on. Huh? Okay, the reign of darkness. Okay, what is the reign of darkness in the church? Huh? Christian, huh? okay, this one is aside from Revelations. Huh? One uh, fellow is here is referring to Jezebel, the prophetess. Alright? And if teaching is wrong, we say people into sexual immorality. Some people say your sins are forgiven. Huh? Uh, once you are forgiven, everything is forgiven. You can go and sin huh? and you still be saved. Even if you have, uh, you know, some, I even have one picture from America. No? They say homosexual can go to heaven, you know, that kind of thing. Huh? So, anyway, the one, uh, okay, but it's not in the Bible, lah, right? Not in the Bible, lah. So, you, you can see that uh, uh, this one is a compromise. Huh? Okay, so Christian don't compromise, I don't have this kind of sexual immorality. Uh, next one also same, huh? sexual immorality, the teaching of Balaam. You know what happened to Balaam? Huh? To entice huh? the Israelite to compromise. Huh? What did he die? Again, yeah, I, sh I show you the verse, how he died. I mean, yeah, I mean he was. Okay, I show you the verse. Huh? Okay, let's before that. Okay, the Phineas, remember that uh, this uh, Simeonic tried the leader and he had uh, brought uh, uh, this uh, non Jews woman, right? Okay, let's read this one. Huh? Phineas, he must be like Phineas. Phineas, huh? the sons of Eleazar, the sons of Aaron. Okay, he followed the Israelite, the leader, right? And drove the spear to him and the so called and the woman, huh? the woman's stomach, and both died. Okay, that's Old Testament. I'm not going to ask you to go and take a spear and spear the people who commit sin. Huh? But because of that, huh, because he honored God, huh, what happened that he, 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 he inherited the everlasting priesthood. <coughs> okay? And then he stopped the plague. You know the plague came, huh? the other day how many thousand people died? 24,000, right? Uh, he, he stopped the plague because, you see, yeah. Uh, Sometimes I pray is good, lah. you know, like Elijah, you know how he, he pray that the rain comes. Huh? You have to do something, no? You know, just pray. You know, remember, he, 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 he have a battle with the Baal prophet, the 450, and all done, right? Before he did, he eradicated sins huh? in the land, huh? then the blessing comes, the rain comes. You know, just pray, you know, you must do something. Every time, sometimes people pray, eh? prayer is good, lah, but your life must be holy, right? And then you must do something. Okay, because God inspired you. This one, he do something, right? He take the spear and spear through. He carry your sin as an example, right? And then when the plague stop, right? Now. This COVID nineteen, uh, you know, of course you can see that it's a sin of the world. Uh, the judgment came, uh, okay? So, but we need to pray. The Christian, uh, we must pray for that, for God mercy, and we pray that protection. I mean, this COVID is, uh, I look at it, it's plague, it's sin. Of the world. You see that? It's a judgment. Okay? Because the great tribulation is a judgment of God. No? That one is really terrible one. No? This one is just a mild one. You know, say already people do not have really. Correct? No? If you see that, it's a judgment. No? Don't, don't mind because I tell you, when we read the Bible, no? I mean my own experience. Is that don't sin. You see now, sometimes the sickness come. You know, the plagues come. You know, all kinds of sickness, like cancer, these, that, yeah, yeah, especially, yeah. And, Beyond cure, or no. Some people backslide, like cancer come, uh, they cry out to God. But God still help them, uh, but they still die. Uh, some may be healed, uh, depends. Uh. Alright? So don't go away from God, uh, otherwise the plague come. Uh, you know, scared of you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, because you can see the, the plague stopped, right? 24,000. Uh. Then what happened? Then he inherited the everlasting priesthood and the descendants. Uh. So he was uh, awarded, right? He was given the reward. Okay, let's look at how uh, these uh, Balaam died. Uh, before that, look at Numbers 25, 7. Huh? Uh, 16. The Moses said, Treat the Midianite as enemy and kill them. They treated you as enemy when they see you into peril. Incident, uh, that means the seduction. Uh, that means uh, sex with a Midianite woman. Uh, Sister Kobe, the daughter of Midianite leader, and the woman who was killed and the plague came as a result of the incident. The plague came as a result of their sexual immorality. You can see that. And this one was instigated by Balaam, the prophet. Uh, uh, okay. okay, what about how he died? Huh? Let's look at how Balaam died. 
They fought against the Midianite Moses, right? The, the, the Jew, right? And as the Lord commanded Moses and killed every man. And among their victim, who's the victim? The kings, right? There are five kings of oh, Midian. All get killed, right? They also kill who? Balaam, right? Sons of Balaam and the sword, right? He died in the war because he did evil. And evil will pursue him until he died. So don't do evil. Uh. The Bible says if you are wise, you don't do evil. You fear evil. Okay, let's look at another thing why he died. Eh? Because of divination. <coughs> okay, let's move on first. For they did not come to meet you, bread with water. That means the people didn't help them. Eh? And when they came from Egypt, and they hired Balaam, son of Baal, okay, and pronounced a curse on Israel. That's another thing he did to Israel. However, the Lord protect them. Eh? Would God would listen to would not listen to Balaam, but turn the curse into blessing. Okay? Because the Lord, your God, love you, right? So God can turn the curse into blessing. That is COVID, eh? You take care of yourself, God can protect you. You know, remember, we share chapter 9, you see the, the scorpion, right? Uh, the local scorpion, right? The kind of demons, eh? you know, the extract thing, right? You cannot see the demons. Just like you cannot see COVID-19, the disease. Alright? But God will protect you, uh, you pray, eh? and you walk righteous, eh? And that's why you come to church, you don't need to scare of the COVID-19. And then you know, the government opens the door, we come in. Eh? Alright? And, uh, and God allows it. Eh? In addition to those who slain in battle, the Israelites had put to the sword Balaam, who practiced divination. That's another thing he did. They practiced black magic, or not magic, or curses. Alright? Uh, all those uh, evil spirits. Eh? Uh, witchcraft, whatever it is. Eh? So that one is a curse, no? Don't go in place with uh, those uh, Uja God, all these, uh, uh, they are all demon, man. okay? Alright, it's real, I see the Uja God, the, the thing move, no? The cup move by itself, uh, but let's still know the back. That would be interesting, uh, next time, uh, maybe we have a time, uh, maybe, uh, you know, it's time for him. He can share with us, uh, his experience, or, or his past experience. Uh, it would be interesting to hear about that particular word. You know, the, the, the demon world, so called. Uh, that would be interesting. Alright? Okay, yeah. Uh, before he many years in that area. Alright? That would be interesting. Uh. At least you know that a demon is real. Alright? But praise God, God, by the God being the same. Okay, praise God. Moses was very angry with the officers of the army. See, he understood that the leaders, no? He was very he was very angry with the officer of the army, the commander of the thousand and Commanders of the hundred and return from the battle. Have you allowed the woman to leave? He asked. The same one. They were the one who follow Balaam's advice and advise the Israelite to be unfaithful to the Lord. That means they compromise. Huh? They have sex with this woman or whatever sexual immorality huh? to bail this season huh? and that a big struck the Lord's people, right? And now no kill huh? and so on. Huh? So you can see that. Balaam eh, is the one no, who enticed the Midianites. Alright, so you can see. Don't compromise. Eh. It's called professing Christian. Eh. And they will not make it again. Okay? The rapture, they will miss the rapture. Okay? I think uh, very, very certain they will miss the rapture. Okay? And uh, they compromise the faith. Eh? Okay, let's move on. Okay, move on to 11.3. <coughs> and I will appoint my two witnesses. And they will prophesies for 1,260 days, the proclamation of the gospel, all right? And three and a half, we are the first three and they are the two olive trees, huh? and two lampstand, and they are before the Lord of the Now this one is staying in the book of Zechariah, there's one in Joshua, the priest, and the other one is uh, Zerubbabel, the priest, until huh? the priestly king, again, okay? there's uh, in other words, if anyone rise to harm them, fire, you see, in a tribulation time, right? the supernatural, no? You know, the fire will come down from the mouths or and devour the enemies, okay? And this is how anyone who wants to harm them will die. And they have the power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they prophesy. They have say like Elijah, right? And they have the power to turn the water in the book like Moses and to strike the earth with every kind of plagues, this plague, right? That's often the same. So you can see that the uh, there is a uh, science and wonder. No, only watching a movie, you know, sometimes you see what oh, fire come down, right? But it's not a real one, no? It's a supernatural. Okay? It is uh, this thing will happen in the Great Tribulation time. Alright? 
and they had a job to do, like, to preach the gospel, all right, to share to as many people as they can, and then, uh, all right, as I say, their ministry is powerful with Moses and Elijah, and okay, okay, they have a job to do the mission, huh? <coughs> excuse me, and now, when they have finished their testimony, their sharing, the bees, okay, this is the one, huh? the bees comes out from the abyss, that means come from the bottomless pit, huh? or they take out the Hades, okay, this is where the demons are kept, where the people who don't believe Jesus Christ are kept there, all right? I tell you a very uh, funny story uh, I saw in the YouTube. Uh, you know, they go and search for this place. Where's the problem? It's uh, Antarctica. But they want to people say, uh, and all I say, uh, okay. And then they say, uh, one American uh, Secretary General go and go and uh, go to that place and speak with the, uh, uh, the this uh, some of the witchcraft or what, uh, and talk about the, the, the demons in the abyss in the bottom of the street. But there was something in the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> okay. But anyway, it's just what people say, huh? but you don't have to believe, okay? But what you believe is, this one is real, it's the abyss, right? Uh, okay? And so, okay, here's, okay, when I show you the Bible support, huh? Jesus asked them, Where, what is your name, religion? And 6,000 demons, right, in the, this uh, man of tomb, huh? And replied, because many demons have gone to him. And they begged Jesus with him not to order them to go into that. Abyss are the place where they will be tormented, right? So, the, okay, again, um, I mean, God allowed this demon to come out, right? The beast to fulfill the this uh, destruction, right? So, God is in control. So, so that's why nothing escaped the notice of God. Your thoughts, your bank account, whatever you say, whatever is in your thought, God knows everything. You cannot hide, you can hide from men, you can hide from your parents, you cannot hide from God. Right, you have to hide from the government, you hide from God. Right? Okay? So, is uh, Okay? So, this one, what I'm trying to say is really God control. Let's move on. Now, when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower them and kill them. So, God allowed them to be killed by the demons. You can see that? And, okay, let's move on. Alright? They have completed their missions. And uh, this is how you need your control. So their body will lie in a public square of great city. Yeah? And this is a very difficult verse to interpret. I mean, thinking and uh, looking through, check here and there, and finally I think maybe it's something like this. Huh? Okay? And the great city of God is referring to Jerusalem, and which is figuratively Sodom huh? and Egypt. Why Sodom and Egypt? Huh? Of course, you reminiscing back. Huh? In the background of this uh, homosexuality and uh, slavery and so on, uh, but there's some supporting scripture. Uh, some are interpreted as the Sodom referring to the rulers of Jerusalem. Okay, where the support, uh, and their Lord was crucified. Okay, crucified. I mean, okay. So, okay, I show you the scripture in Isaiah uh, that they, they found this uh, the background uh, on the ruler of Sodom, mean uh, the rulers of Jerusalem. All right, and Sodom. Represent moral degradation, homosexuality, which, which means to say, uh, when this body uh, like people, uh, the people are still unrepentant. Okay, basically that's an idea. The people are hard hearted. Uh. Alright, that's the, uh, okay, Jerusalem and call rulers of Sodom. Okay, let's look at Isaiah, a little background. Eh? Okay, this one a little bit uh, fast, uh, because this one, uh, okay, first thing, uh, Isaiah has a vision of Judah and Jerusalem. Verse 1, and verse 2, uh, and the Lord spoken. I reared the children and brought them up, but they rebelled against me. Okay, so think about these unfaithful people. But Israel does not know me. My people do not understand. Woe to the sinful nation. A people, you know why I got the punished like Israel? Because they rejected God for that reason. Eh? And then later part, the later part, of course, uh, God called the spirit of grace. Then he embraced the remnant to the Jesus. And then that's where the remnant are. Eh? And woe to the nation, the people whose guilt is great, a group of evil doers, and children given to corruption. They have forsaken the Lord, they have spurned, not having they have shown contempt to the Holy Spirit, they despise Israel and turn their backs to Him. Why should you be bitter anymore? Why do you persist in rebellion? Your whole way injured and your whole heart is afflicted, are dying, okay, yeah? and there is no soundness, okay? Uh, only wounds, okay, your, your wounds and open sores, not plants, not bandages, right? Yeah? 
your country, so on, let's go to Daughter Zion, huh? Jerusalem, huh? Uh, Zion, Jerusalem, his land, a shelter, okay, and unless the Lord Almighty had left some survivor, we would all have become like Sodom and would be like Gomorrah, the person of homosexuality, yeah? And here the word of God, you rulers of Sodom, right? Eh? God called them rulers of Sodom. That means similar, because of sin, eh? all right? And listen to the instruction of God, our people of Gomorrah. Okay, what they say about the money? The majority of your sacrifices, say the Lord, I had more than enough burnt offering, the rent, and so on. I have no pleasure in your sacrifices. When you come to appear before me, who have asked with you, my court, my and this trembling of my courts, that means defiling my temple. You understand? That's what they say, right? Okay, this one is connect, uh, this one Sodom. Sodom, that means here, uh, Jerusalem, uh, Sodom. Uh, Sodom, that means Sodom ruler is referring to Jerusalem. Figuratively, Sodom and Egypt, right? So there's a thing, uh, and stop bringing meaningless offering. Your insight is acceptable to me. The server and so uh, I cannot hear, I cannot bear your worthless assembly. Okay, some are uh, satanic, uh, okay, and uh, some are, uh, uh, okay, they do it their own way. When you spread out your hand in prayer, verse 15, I hide my face from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I'm not listening. Okay, your life channel is very important, uh, not just pray. Wash and make yourself clean. Let your evil deeds are deeds. Uh. Go on my side. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead your case. Come, let us reason together. Say the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red, crimson, they shall be good. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But you resist. And rebel, you'll be rebel. So this one I give you the understanding is a figurative sultan, right? So we're talking about the sultan, the rulers of Jerusalem. So the part, uh, okay, so it is just one uh, one way to look at it. Uh. Okay, the book is very hard to interpret, no? Is that so suddenly have the thing there uh, in uh, just now the eleven? Alright, let's uh Okay, uh, 21 we will skip. Eh? They are rulers or rebel and so on. Okay, this one I think is enough. Eh? I give you the, the justification for ruler or something. Let's mention that. Because it's Zion, eh? it's Jerusalem. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, okay, let's skip. Eh? Uh, Egypt uh, is a place of slavery and so on. Okay, let me just skip the one. Let's go on to verse 9. 11 verse 9 Revelation. <coughs> For three and a half days, remember their ministry is three and a half years. One day corresponds to one year. Alright? For three and a half days, some from every people, tribe, language, and nation will gaze on the bodies and refuse their burial. The inhabitants of the earth will delight over them and will celebrate by sending each other again. We call these two prophets. Huh? They call it, they call it, they call it, they can cause fire, right? Or when they right? But after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood up on their feet. They died and was resurrected after three and a half days. And terror struck those who saw them. You see, the power of God came here. See, God is in charge. Huh? Let's move on. And then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. Ascension, eh? right? Like Jesus ascended. <coughs> Excuse me. And they went up to heaven in a cloud. That means uh, present the presence of God. Eh? Well, their enemies looked on. At that very hour, there was a severe earthquake, and a ten of the city collapsed. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to God. So you can see, uh, this is a thing will happen in the end time. And, okay, uh, some, some, uh, one suggestion by one theologian uh, with this, I said they connect to the earthquake. Let's go to Ezekiel 38, 19. Uh. In my zeal, a fiery wrath, the wrath of God. Uh, I don't believe God will allow us to go through the wrath. That means the judgment. Uh, we are now in the 
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alright. The wrath of God. I declare that at that time there shall be an earthquake in the land of Israel. Alright, the city of Israel, right? And the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the beasts of the field, every creature that moves along the ground, and all the people on the face of the earth will tremble in my presence. The mountains will be overturned, the cliffs will be crumbled, and every wall will fall to the ground. I will summon a sword against God, and on all my mountains declare the sovereign Lord. Every man so will regain the brother. I will execute judgment on him. Okay, the person, right? And we plague, uh, plague, and uh, again, uh, plague disease, uh, or, and bloodshed. I will pour down torrents of rain, hailstone of burning sulfur on him and on his troop and on the many on. This I come from the farmer. You attack Israel from the farmer. Okay, and who is this God? Uh? Okay, there are many suggestions. Uh, okay, you okay, attack from the farmer. Okay, there's an attack. Uh? And so I let, I will show my greatness and my holiness. I will make myself known in the sight of many nations, then you will know that I am the Lord. Okay, so this one corresponds to the earthquake, eh? talking about the Armageddon. Okay, let's go on to verse 14, 11, 14. The second woe has passed. Okay, this thing happened, uh, that means the resurrection, exception, eh? and the, the, the disaster, disaster on earth. Eh? So this is the second woe, and the third woe. World is coming soon. The seven angels sounded this trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven. We say, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. Alright, so when he is Satan sit on the, the beast, huh? the beast sit in the temple of God, you count down Jacob trouble three and a half years. Alright, so there is, uh, after the preaching, there's an ascension, and they believe that. Uh, also, Christ take over, okay, the whole world empire and defeat Satan, the beast, the empire, and all the evil people, all right, and judge them within a period of three hours, all right. So, whatever that happens, God is in absolute control, huh? okay. And uh, as I say, you don't be discouraged, huh? the Jesus Christ coming when uh, is beyond your control. Alright, and uh, the thing is, uh, it, it, it just be good uh, just do what you can, but try to excel and save as many souls as you can, uh. alright, and don't waste time, don't play too much time playing a game, uh, or watch video the whole day, uh, or play game the whole day, you know, you know. Of course, I'm a break, uh, whatever, uh, but what I'm trying to say, don't make it a uh, habit, uh. day in, day out, uh, uh, waste your time, uh, don't waste precious time, go and save souls, uh. When reach out to so uh. but I tell you something, uh, you know something about God's word, no. You have to go out to the field and touch the life, uh, then you experience God, the powerful working. And, and because why you know why I say this, because I experience I believe I'm what I am, uh, here I started off by going out to the field. Okay? And then from there I learned from the Lord. Okay, the Lord showed me like, many things, right? Okay? How to go about it, and when I study theology and all the uh, other give you information, understanding. And the preciousness of souls. Huh? So I say the Bible is very clear. Like, he, he who wins souls is wise. He will just sit down and do nothing, uh, the soul will come up. Right? He must go there and touch life. The Bible says, Proverbs 11 30, he who wins souls is wise. Right? And then Paul say, uh, Colossians 1 uh, 38, he must be all wisdom, be sent perfect in Christ Jesus. So this is the uh, nurturing. There's two things you need to do save soul and nurture them and become strong disciples of Jesus Christ, right? Okay, let's move on. Huh? You see how Satan, uh, now you see talking about the kingdom belongs to God. Now, so-called uh, God allows Satan to to disturb the world, okay? And this, this verse I give one. And I say to him, I will give you, he tells Jesus, no, Satan tells Jesus, I will give you all the power and splendor he has been given me and can give to anyone I want. You know, Satan uh, can prosper you. He can give you riches. He can become a millionaire, a trillionaire. Alright? But the main thing is you lose your soul. Okay? Which one? You can live as the richest man on the earth. Uh, but you lose your soul. You want? You want? You want, right? Alright, uh, what's the point, right? Shortly only, if you live until 150 years. Uh, right now. Uh, 
is still short lived. Eh? So this one, uh, and Jesus said, if you if you worship me, no, Satan said, if you worship me, you will be all yours. If you worship Satan, uh, he give you all the prosperity, all the money, all the gold, the three G. Right? Three G that right? uh, gold, girls and glory. Right? Not the G, yeah, the three G. Gold, girls and glory. He give you all or even more. Eh? Yeah, yes. Sir. Okay, let's uh, finish it here. Yeah, we done. Uh, move on to verse. Uh, okay, the transparent of the world, uh, once dominated by the usurper Satan, uh, now the, the return to the rightful owner, the king of the universe, the whole world. Uh, and saying, We give thanks to the Lord Almighty, one who is with us, and you have taken your great power. And I began to reign until God's time, right? So the nation was angry and your realm has come. The time has come for judging the dead and rewarding the dead is an unbeliever. Eh? And for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who reverend, revert your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the land. Okay, the nature you must preserve nature, right? So salvage nature. <coughs> Go on. Then another angel saw coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God, and called in a loud voice. The four angel who has given the power to harm the lands. Okay, then my this one is the correspond to. Okay, I want to show you something about the people who are saved, the child tribes. Huh? Okay, I want to talk a little bit on this one, huh? a little bit. Say, do not harm the land, verse 4 and see. Huh? Okay, what I'm trying to say is that uh, not many make it, right? They call it 144,000, right? But exactly how much? Huh? Okay, it's a complete number, we don't know the exact number. If you want to take it in Israel, it's 144,000, it's a very small number. Okay, but the Bible says a one third of the Israelite eh, will be wiped out, right? In Jacobariah, one third. The world, I'm oh, sorry, two third will be wiped out. Then one third, okay? And but the world, one third will die, right? One third, and then the rest. Okay, the first one quarter, then one third. But Israel contact, uh, two third will be wiped out. Then only one third, right? So this uh, 144,000, eh, if you take it literally, it's not a lot. But if they have a complete number, we don't know the exact number. But I want to highlight is uh, this category is Judah. Alright? Okay, look at Judah. And then I I heard the number was 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000. Eh? Okay, just focus on Judah. You know, uh, the second one is who? Reuben, right? Is it Reuben? Yeah, and the tribe twelve thousand was steal from the tribe of Reuben. Yeah, Reuben is the elder son of Jacob, but he was not number one. You know why? He went and sleep with his father's concubine. You know something that although Judah slept with unintentionally uh, slept with a prostitute, which is disguised by uh, her daughter-in-law, right? Her daughter-in-law, and the reason why is that she did that because. Uh, John, Judah did not keep the promise of the younger son to marry because the first two died. Alright? And then, so and then she became pregnant. Alright? And then, and give birth to Paris, the twins. Uh, and from Paris, you came Jesus Christ, the lion. Uh. So you're talking about, and then why Judah was still maintained, although in spite of his uh, visiting the prostitute, you know, the grace of God. The other thing is, you know, when they went to, during the family, they went to buy the the grains, right, from Egypt, right? And then the, 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 the Joseph kept Benjamin. He said, I can only let go of Benjamin when you bring the father, right? So the father was worried. And then uh, this uh, Reuben, uh, Reuben told the father, if anything happened to Benjamin, uh, he, is, he, can, he can replace, uh, my, my, my two sons will be, so let's say anything happened, my, my sons uh, will take responsibility. You want to tell the father, my sons will take responsibility. Anything happened to Benjamin? That was his reply. Sounds okay? Are they sitting there okay? Okay, then uh, this uh, Judah said, if anything happened to Benjamin, I am responsible. Which answer better? Huh? Second better, right? Because the first one is selfie. He said, my son, right? Am I, 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 I like Kennedy. Can you see it now? But the first one is saying, I'm willing to risk my life now, to take responsibility now. That's why he changed. That's why he became the leader. So 
So one principle you can learn today, yeah? the past sins, ask God for forgiveness, like the Judah. But God can still put you up there. You know why? What you need to do is be righteous from now on. Give yourself a second chance. Alright, you can still be the leader. Alright? Joining Judah, the tribe of Judah, so called uh, spiritually. Uh, Alright? Yeah, 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 excel from God. So start today. Alright? So today the message uh, basically what I'm gonna try to share is that we don't have much time. Okay? Be the best in every aspect of your life, especially building this kingdom. Alright, in conclusion, huh? uh, of course there are many things, huh? okay, let's, let's look at the conclusions. Uh, okay, let's, uh, okay, this one, never mind, the great multitude say, okay, and so on, huh? let's go on. Uh, okay, they will, there are those who are saved who never experienced hunger at first, huh? and they have no experience anymore more tears. Next one. Okay, next one. Okay, I, I try to say is uh, in conclusion, uh, we built God's kingdom. Uh, there are many types of churches in the whole world, including in Singapore. Some church is built with gold, silver, and costly stone. Okay, these are the ones that is uh, great, great sacrifice. And these are the ones who have, uh, you know, we call it uh, really help people with life of transformation to build strong character. Uh, yesterday I uh, was talking uh, about the uh, media work and all this. Uh, I begin to reflect, uh, you know, the one verse the Bible says, you want to be great, right? The greatest among them are sir, right? So, if you go and do meaning work, uh, fetching people on this, uh, you build your character. You build a strong character, you become a strong leader one day, okay? You say, uh, this one's Sai Kang, uh, I don't want to do it. Uh. You know, in terms of economic value, okay, in terms of character, you know, they're not measured in terms of the body sense uh, or dollars and cents. Uh. Sai Kang, don't want to do, no? Who want to do Sai Kang? No, no, no. Like I mean, this is uh, like, uh, the uh, media that nobody will do one. Right? You don't even build your character. What you think of your right value? Wow. Well, I spend my time on wow, my one my one hour, hundred dollars or this one now only five dollars. No. Don't think in terms of economic value, you think of building character. What the Bible says uh, in Mark, right? 10 43 to 45. The greatest are not must serve. Right? Or I come here to serve, not to be served. Huh? Alright, but so here to enrich others. Uh, okay, that's okay. Huh? So here is second one, if you build with wood and straw, uh, that means uh, you didn't really put much effort on. There may be a little effort, uh, okay? And then, the Bible say that there are works on. That's why works is important, not only faith, alright? Because the prosperity thing is eh, based on God's blessing. Everything based on God's blessing, only work. You know, that's prosperity teaching, eh? No only works, okay? That's wrong teaching. Because you say works, right? Eh? There are work. To become what is the day and you will renew by fire be Fire will test the quality of each man work, right? So we work in right now. What is survived will receive a reward. Next one. And it's burned out. You will suffer a lot, but yet will be saved. But even only as one's escaping through. You know, barely got saved. Huh? I mean, hardly any reward. You see that? There's a the type of church. Huh? You want to be in a type of church, or you want to be a to, to build a church that is gold, silver, and precious stone. Huh? And then, worst thing, one, one of the cup church. Huh? Destroy God's temple, God will destroy the person. Okay, there's a type of church. Next one. Okay, this is a good church. Affliction and poverty. Okay? Yet they are rich. Although they are poor, but they are rich in God. Be faithful unto them and give you a crown of life. A victor crown. Next one. Ah, this one is philosophical. What? I know your what? Your what? Deeds. Deeds, right? Work, right? Your deeds, right? I know you have little strength, small church, huh? Uh, yet, you have kept my word and not been acknowledged. I love you. Next one. I'm coming to move on to what you have. The one in Victoria, I'm going to an example. I will write on them the name and the new Jerusalem. The millennial is not new Jerusalem, but different. Huh? Okay? New Jerusalem is completely new. The heavens and the earth are completely new. Which is coming out of heaven from God and also right. Out of heaven. Okay? Next one. Anyone? Okay, conclusion. The moral of the story is today, live righteously, have quality deeds, sacrifice greatly, and will be amply rewarded with perseverance. Right? So this is an encouragement uh, to all of us right, to be righteous, seek eagles the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Expand his kingdom and live righteously. Huh?
Okay, you know, uh, righteousness is very important. Huh? Okay, everything you do, uh, don't cheat even give one cent. Okay, that's important. Huh? Okay. okay, let's uh, close in uh, prayer as we invite our musician. Okay, then why we can keep the altar cover for later we pray as we dig up.